Okay, in our actual game, we would like to use something a little more interesting than a block. Um, now we could uh, use, we could simply switch out the, the block to be a different image, but um, I'm going to do it in a slightly different way, which is to keep the block and have a sprite on top of it, which uh, is going to follow uh, the, the uh, follow the block along. Um, the benefit is that um, I can keep my uh, graphics and sort of uh, physics separate from one another, um, and it is going to be more convenient uh, for, for building a better game. Um, so the first thing I would like to do is I'm going to uh, make a sprite. I'm gonna find the dog, dog2. Uh, and this is going to be on top of the uh, the block. So uh, first what I need is uh, event when clicked. Uh, what is he going to do? Well, first I'd like to set him up a little bit. Um, so we're going to set the rotation. Uh, I don't want him spinning around. I would like him to stay flat. So uh, what is that? That's in looks. Um, no, that's, that's in motion. Set rotation style to be left right. And also, he's he's a little too large right now, um, so I'm going to set his size to be let's say 50%. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good for now. Um, and then I want to make sure he's pointing the right way. Uh, we'll start him off at 90 degrees. So uh, point in direction of 90 which is what he is now. I uh, also want to make sure he shows, so show. All right, so uh, then uh, if, what, what do I want him to do in the game? Well, I would like him to follow around the block. So forever, oops, forever, uh, go to, go to, I'm sorry, not that go to, this go to the uh, player. So if you run this, um, we can see that the blo the dog is indeed following the block. Now, he's a little off center though. Uh, well, how do, we, how do we fix that? Well, we can go here into our sprites, uh, the costume. And we can recenter this. That's one way. Um, okay, stop this. Okay, the guy up here. Now he's a little bit better. Uh, we'd still like the dog to be a little bit higher. Uh, so let's see. So, too high. So, that looks about right. Okay, so now we have the dog. He's on top of the, the block. Um, now, we always want the dog to be um, in, in front of the block. So, Let's go to our code and we want to go to the front layer. Uh, make sure we're clicking on the dog. Go to the front. And this is in our forever loop. So if we run, dog's always on top of the block. Uh, we're Eventually we're just gonna hide the block. So this is not too critical. Okay, what else do we want the dog to do? Well, we would like the dog to turn uh, when the when the block moves, so uh, we're simply going to repeat the uh, instructions with turning left and right. But all we're going to do is point the dog in whichever direction he's going. So uh, we're going to go to uh, sensing. Uh, it's key. We're going to need a couple of these and a couple of if statements if something so if the left arrow is pressed 
and if the right arrow is pressed. Okay, so what is it we would like to do if the left arrow is pressed? Well, we want to point the, uh, the dog to the, the, the left, which is point in minus 90. So um, go to point. Point in minus 90, so to the right, and the opposite if we if we press the right arrow. So let's run this again. And we can move the, the dog back and forth. The dog can jump. Yay. Okay, so next thing we would like to do is we would like to make the dog moving move. So if we go to this, the dog's costumes, we can see. If you click here, it looks like it's moving. This one, we don't really need. Um, so we just have two costumes, and what, basically whenever we press left or right, we wanna change costumes, and it'll look like he's moving. So let's go to uh, looks and find next costume. So point and next costume. Let's run. Oh, and he is moving, running along. Okay, looks good. 